Hi guys, welcome to day 118. Wow, it's really, uh, really ploughing on through there. Um, I thought today might be a bit stressful um, due to Charlie just going back to school yesterday. And then off again today, I thought that might just uh, shake him up a little bit. But no, actually he's been calm and cool as anything today. I think he's probably just, just happy to be feeling back to himself and feel like he's been to school. And now, you know, he's back into a swing of things. So, no, he actually took to that really well. I was expecting a bit, a bit of a stressful day, but he's been absolutely fantastic. Um, and I went into town with him earlier, and it did just, just me and Charlie. A nice walk into town, got some fresh air. Um, and he just laughed and giggled all the way. So that was fantastic. Um, yeah, he's, he's started the weekend really, really well. I'm really proud of him. Um, last night was quite amazing, because once I'd done the video, I'd uploaded it. Um, sure, guys, and I tried to get it up by about five or something because you know they're in bed by half five, six. There's not a lot more I could tell you, but <clears throat> when I was getting him dry uh, after the bath, he started making uh, sounds and ha sounds, um, and his I've it's a difficult thing to explain. I've never seen Charlie be so. Um, persistent on his speaking it was almost as if he was speaking but the, the actual words weren't coming out but the noises were it was a really bizarre thing to the point like I had hairs standing up on me I got chills off it because I was actually watching him speak um, even though no official words were coming out it's a really difficult thing to explain but he was making the mouth movement and he was going nah you know really and we were saying to Charlie, what are you trying to say, mate? And he was repeating it again, repeating it again. And he was holding his hand up as he was laying his back. As you guys probably see on the videos, he always looks at his hand. And he's, he's going, ha, ha. Um, yeah, and it shook me up a little bit, not in a bad way. I've never, ever seen Charlie so adamant to talk. And he looked, me and Amy, dead in the eye when we were saying what you're trying to say and he was definitely 100,000% um, adamant he wanted to tell us something and he's so close to talking I know he is I can feel it um, and he's we've had babies as you guys know we've had that all week and then these nurse sounds and these harsh sounds he's practicing for something and I know it's just there on the tip of his tongue he's going to blurt it out any day um, and I just can't wait for it. I mean, it'll be worth the wait. But after all this time, you know, um, obviously he does it in his own time. And I never push him or force him into, to you know, trying to talk or whatever. He'll just get there when he gets there. Even though we try to encourage him. <coughs> but on the flip side, it's like, oh, I know you've so got it there, mate. Just you know, um, and you know, we're trying to converse with him. He, he will just do you know do his noises and then stop, and we'll say. Oh, good job, Char. Anything else you want to tell us? So he's he's getting that, um, he's getting used to that back and forth conversation because, um, as I say every every child with autism is different, but a big big chunk of it, um, which some people know, some people don't. So just just for you guys that don't know, um, a lot of children with autism, <coughs> like anyone else, they have the capability to talk. It's not that they can't talk. Um, a lot of them don't don't see the use in it, <clears throat> so they choose to stay mute. And if they stay mute, then they're not actually practicing their words and pronunciations, etc. Um, because if they can just bring you a cup for a drink, then you know what is the point in asking for a drink, um, using your voice. Which yeah, uh, maybe outside looking in. Um, sorry, from their perspective, you know, I know where, where they're coming from, but obviously us looking on the outside looking in, it's not ideal, and we know that, we need our communication. Um, but, yeah, no, he's... It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely... <coughs> absolutely incredible. Um, but, yeah, he's, 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 he's getting there so much, and it's, it's just a matter of time before something... <clears throat> something comes out and uh, when it does it you know every day is a proud day but I think that will uh, it'll just finish us off I think, you know and we'll have a big long video about it when it does happen so I won't won't be able to stop rambling
much like normal but even more so um, so yeah that was really exciting um, I might have missed a point that I was trying to make in there I can't remember um, I've been waffling for a bit now um, and my head's a mash you do have to excuse me but the point is Charlie's so close to talking and that is amazing and on the day that he does you know you guys will be the first to know and yeah secondly he's had a brilliant day fantastic day and it's been chilled, good start to the weekend, and I'm really, really pleased with how he's going and how his progress is going. Oh, so I will leave it there, guys, as always. Um, I've put the clips on the end for you, a couple more with it being the weekend. And I'm going to finish the children's dinner, get them, give them that, and get them slung in the bath ready for their beds, because they are a bit tired today, for whatever reason. So yes, as always, guys, thanks a million percent for watching, and let's sign up words be <laughs>